And if this is romantic for you, uh, a soulmate situation, the only thing that's keeping you in this situation, I feel like right now, is just the fact that, you know, well, it started out with this really strong, intense bond, but now it seems to have fizzled out. And, if, and I feel like you may be holding on to this situation just because of that. Not because it really is adding any value to your life now. Um, it, things have just, the, the dynamic has changed. Hey there, Taurus. Welcome to your monthly reading for the month of March of 2021. Thank you guys so very much for tuning in. If you're new to the channel, welcome. It is very nice to meet you. My name is Eric. And if you are returning, what is up, guys? All right. So I hope you guys are doing well in 2021 so far. Um, we do have St. Patrick's Day coming up this month. And in honor of St. Patrick's Day, I figured um, we would get some, I close out our reading this month with Oracle Guidance from the Fairy Forest deck. Yes, I haven't, I haven't used this deck in quite a while, so I'm excited about that. And then we will be getting our Tarot through using the Mystical Amanga Tarot this month, yeah? So I hope you guys are doing well. Thank you all so much for tuning in. Um, I do offer private readings if you would like one. All of the information is in the description box below. Just go ahead and email me, divineconversations2711 at gmail.com, and I will get you all set up. Also, if you're vibing with me as a reader, I highly recommend that you check out Patreon, patreon.com backslash divineconversations. That link can also be found in the description box below. We do daily readings over there, and plus we have bi-weekly twin flame readings and bi-weekly uh, inner masculine, inner feminine readings in which we dive into the elements or what's going on with your inner masculine and an inner feminine energies in order to get a better understanding of what you may need to do or what you can do potentially in order to help to fuse those two energies within you because we all have masculine and feminine energy within and for those of us on a twin flame journey that's really what it's all about finding union within so that we can experience that union externally yeah um Please keep in mind that this is a general reading, yes, so please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Uh, also, in no matter what comes out here, we could be talking about love, we could be talking about career, we could be talking about family. But no matter what comes out, because of the fact that this is a general reading, the, word, the, the, the roles can be reversed, all right? So if, like, say this is for Taurus, if we're talking to Taurus, but the, the way I'm narrating is that it's the other way around, um, it's the other person, maybe a cross watcher that this is that this is speaking to or whatnot, whatever. Just play, take it as it resonates, place it into your life as it fits. Don't try to fit anything anywhere that doesn't naturally fit for you. Yes? All right, Taurus, um, I have your pre-shuffle here. And it seems that uh, I feel like you're working on something right now. This could be career. Um, business type of energy or maybe self-mastery, whatever. I feel like you're trying to build something. I feel like you're being, you, you either have, um, uh, you're being called to start putting some consistent effort into something to start building something for yourself, or you actually have been doing that. Um, at the bottom of the deck so far of the tarot, you have the eight of pentacles to the star. Okay. Um, but then to the Five of Cups. And that Five of Cups is actually making a lot of sense because what has come out here in your pre-shuffle is the, first of all, it's the Eight of Cups with the Five of Wands. Let's start here. You do have two more cards, but let's start here. It seems that, Taurus, you're in the process or you're in an element or an energy right now of needing, I heard specifically, needing to leave the past behind you. There's something that I feel like either you are working on right now or you're needing to start working on and something from the past or something that you built up, something that you've been working on in the past, just quite isn't working. So maybe this is something that you've been working on. And right now, somehow it's not providing you with the ultimate fulfillment that you want, you need, or are looking for. I, I feel like you could have been working on something for a good amount of time. You've gotten yourself to Eight of Cups and yet you like uh, an Eight of Cups worth in achievement or accomplishment in this certain thing only to come to like basically a plateau in which now you're being faced with the idea of or the question of how do I move forward how do I get this off the ground how do I develop this more how do I grow this more how do I expand this more there's something about this 
situation that you need to leave behind, but I feel like you're at odds with yourself about it. You can't really come to terms with what it is that needs to be left behind. Two more cards that have come out here. It's the Two of Pentacles to the Eight of Wands. And I feel like what this 444 on the counter, what I feel like this is saying for you, Taurus, is that um, I really kind of want, I want you to ask yourself what's going to be What's going to be more balanced in your life? What's going to bring greater physical, maybe even monetary, monetary balance into your life? I feel like once you figure out what that is, um, that's when the floodgates are going to open or the doors are really going to open for you or the path is going to be clear. I feel like you're at... Uh, a I kind of want to say I feel like you're at a crossroads right now, Taurus, and you're needing to make a decision for yourself on in terms of what is best for you, uh, what's what's going to serve you more, or what's going to bring greater balance into your day to day life. This is and this and I think specifically for some of you, it's needing to focus on the the day-to-day the -day things. This is not necessarily bring, uh, finding balance on a soul level or an energetic level. This is finding balance in the physical elements of your life where that two of pentacles is, rep what that two of pentacles is representing, okay? And when you, when you focus on that, when you get down to the bottom of that, when you understand what that is, what it is that's going to bring greater day-to-day -day balance um, in your life, that's when the door, the floodgates are really going to open. Yeah, look, the Ace of Swords just popped out underneath with a whole other, st a whole stack of other things. But that Ace of Swords is the most significant. It's that's where, yep, there's that Eight of Cups again. So that's where you're going to find your answer. Focus on the little things. Focus on the mundane things. Focus on the. I feel like this could even be for some of you. This could be. Um, you may find yourself at a plateau or at a crossroads or at a roadblock because of money. And there could be little things, uh, in little ways in which you're, you're slowly losing money in ways that you're not consciously aware of. And if you get that under control, some of you may realize that ultimately, if you, like, say you have a bunch of subscriptions to something that you're not, you don't remember, you're not aware of, you don't remember you have, and you keep being charged for that and every month there's like this this amount of money that's leaving your bank account or something that's not necessary because you're not even using that subscription anymore like it doesn't have to be that that's just like a, a metaphor but that's I, that's the type of thing that I feel like you need to be focusing on right now or paying attention to that's going to give you the clarity on what it is you need to leave behind that I'm hearing is no longer serving you okay all right, so let's get into this here. I'm um, gonna this one more shuffle and just reset. And let's see what else we have for your month. Here we go. Hi, spirit. Please make me a clear channel for all Taurans at this time. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Please bring forward the best messages to serve their highest good and the highest good of all involved. Please give us clear and accurate representation in terms of the general energies for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of March of 2021. Thank you so very much, Spirit. All right, Taurus, five shuffles here, and we'll see what we've got for you. One. Two. From a Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. General messages for the month of March of 2021. This is three. Woo! Uh, a card has come out already, and I'm being guided to take it. It's a, they're saying it's an overall energy. All right, this is four. This seems you have a little bit of an, a bonus energy, a bonus card for you here. Okay, and this is five. For my Taurans, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of March 2021. Here we go. Boop. All right, Taurus. So first card out we're going to look at as your overall energy is the Seven of Cups. So there are options for you, Taurus. 
And what I'm kind of feeling like, like I want to say here is figure out where your priorities lie. I feel like that is the biggest thing for you right now. Of like This is like the overall energy of your overall energy, <laughs> if you want to call it that. But at the bottom of the deck, you have the lovers. This could be this could have to do with romance. This could have to do with love. Um, you could be you could have a number of partners. You could be in a relationship or a, I guess we could call it a situation ship right now where it seems to have I, I kind of want to say dead ended with a certain partner and um, and you you may have a bunch of different uh, other prospects. I mean, I'm not someone that's going to sit here and say date as many people as you can, kiss as many frogs as you can. That'll help you find your prince or your princess. I feel like you're better off staying on your own and healing, working on yourself, loving yourself, aligning with someone or some an energy that would really truly work for you instead of dating a bunch of ton, a ton of other people. And it's funny because Betsy of Fearless Intuition, a very good friend of mine, she posted um, a meme like that or something from Twitter saying that exact same thing and I completely 100% agree. Uh, but some of, but for others of you, this is not love. This is just having a choice to make. And that choice is uh, what is ultimately, ultimately what's best for you. So you may be, if this has to do with like, say business, you may have a business that you've been working on right now that again, seems to have plateaued. And I feel like you may have trouble leaving that behind because there could be a lot of other people involved in it in some way to some capacity or maybe there's just a lot of other people that have an opinion about it but ultimately your opinion is really the only one that matters the most why taurus because it's your life all right underneath the lovers you have the king of pentacles there you are and then you have the nine of cups under that with the six of wands here underneath that okay so ultimately taurus this choice that you have to make is about you and what's going to bring you satis satisfaction and happiness. You may be working on something right now, whether this is a relationship or a business endeavor or whatever this is for you. You may have been working diligently, being very loyal to something or someone, and Taurus is a very loyal energy, just like Leo and Scorpio sometimes, and Aquarius. <laughs> I mean, fixed energies tend to be very loyal. Um, so you may have been really diligently working on something, but now it may be time to set yourself free of it and to think about, uh, what it is, is it truly going to make you happy? What brings you satisfaction? What brings you contentment at the end of the day? What, how, what, what is it that you are working towards or that you are involved in that at the end of the day, you can sit down and be like, yeah, I'm happy with that. Or I'm proud of myself for being involved with that. Or I'm proud of myself for accomplishing that. And in terms of that, you really need to be focusing on, again, the small things in life, the, the mundane things, the things that often tend to slip under, you know, slip through the cracks or whatever. Don't allow that to happen anymore, okay? Keep a focus on your finances if you need to. Keep a focus on where your energy is going. You may be, maybe this isn't finance for you. Maybe this is your energetic reserves are being depleted and you don't quite understand why. First set of surrounding energies for you, Taurus, in the first half of your reading. You have the Six of Cups, something to do with the past, maybe a soulmate situation. If this is love for you, this could be a situation in which you guys very much are soulmates and things were like you have a very, you have a, you feel very familiar to each other. You may have had, even had past life relationships or past life involvements with each other. And yet I just feel like something is stagnated, stagnating. Something is reaching a dead end. And if this is romantic for you, uh, a soulmate situation, the only thing that's keeping you in this situation, I feel like right now, is just the fact that, you know, well, it started out with this really strong, intense bond, but now it seems to have fizzled out. And, if, and I feel like you may be holding on to this situation just because of that. Not because it really is adding any value to your life now. Um, it, things have just, the, the dynamic has changed. And things are going to change. It, things are never, the only, the only, and I know this is pretty a, a pretty difficult concept for a fixed sign to wrap their heads around. I mean, I have a lot of Leo energy in me, and in the tropical system, I'm a Taurus sun. Um, so 
I mean, I understand that. I understand how difficult this can be, but understand that the only constant in life is change. Change is the only thing you can rely on that will happen in your existence. If there's anything else, if there's nothing else in your life, in your in, in life in general, that you can rely on, it's change. Things are going to change eventually, right? I feel like, and even if this isn't love or romance for you, this and this is like a business or a project or something that I'm hearing something is open-ended, which may also be causing a little bit of a, of a situation for you in which you're having trouble deciding to let go of it. Or maybe even being able to let go of it. There may be no definitive end in sight for you because it's just an open-ended situation. So you're just kind of like floating around in it and nothing's really going anywhere anymore with that you know with that eight of cups energy and you're facing and facing needing to like leave it behind but you're like uh, but i can't because of something in the past or at least you feel like you can't but i don't think that's the case here maybe somebody is guilt tripping you into staying somewhere that you know is no longer resonating or serving you six of cups is coupled with the sun okay so whether this is a soulmate relationship or this is a business situation, regardless of what this is for you here, I feel like the reason why this situation may have plateaued for you, Taurus, is because you've reached the awareness or the clarity that you needed. And now it's time to move on to the next thing. Okay, second set of surrounding energies for you, Taurus. Ah, the page of pentacles. Okay, there's that. There's a new start, uh, stepping into a new reality. I do feel like for some of you, this is stepping into a brand new relationship, coming out of a relationship, having grown into a brand new person or a better version of yourself than you were before, having leveled up. This Taurus, this feels like this page of pentacles is somebody stepping out on their own and going in a new direction. And it feels like you're doing it on your own. I don't feel like you have anybody with you. I don't feel like you have a team other than like, say, your spirit guides or like your, your ancestors and like your spirit team and all that but physically speaking i feel like you're going in a brand new direction all on your own i don't feel like you're really all that afraid of it there may be a little bit of apprehension there may be some things that you need to learn in the process that's to be expected you're starting a new level you're starting a new journey you're starting a new process or reality a new phase okay so obviously you're going to need to take some time to get your footing, but that doesn't make moving in this direction or starting this new thing a bad thing. No way. Okay. So don't allow yourself to slip into that energy of thinking that, you know, because you're trying to start over or because you're feeling guided to, or you feel you need to move in a new direction. That's not just because you may have to, you know, reassert yourself or learn a little bit more. It doesn't make it bad. Okay. Don't allow yourself to slip into that. Page of Pentacles is coupled with the hanged man. There it is. And that's exactly what the sun was saying here in terms of the six of cups. Whether you've been in a job, in a business endeavor, on a creative project, or in a romantic relationship, there is something that was connected. There's something from the past. Either this, the six of cups is representing the past just in terms of the time, the length of time that you've been in this situation, or there is something connected to your soul from a past life, your soul with another person and all that kind of stuff. But you realize you gained the clarity that you need, the understanding that you need to come out of this relationship or come out of this circumstance. I don't feel like, especially if this is a romantic thing, I do feel... I do feel strong romantic energies for this message so far. But if this was a romantic thing, I don't think this relationship was supposed to last forever. I feel like whatever it is you had going on with this person has run its course. And now you have the change in perspective, the hanged man, the enlightenment that you need to start a new process, start a new reality, step out there and step into the next level of your growth, of your existence of your spiritual existence, of your spiritual journey, right? Because we're all, whether you believe in that woo-woo shit or not, we're all spiritual beings having a physical 3D human experience. And it's all about soul growth here, okay? Your challenge in the first half of your reading, Taurus, is the seven of, oh, no, I'm sorry, the six of pentacles. Wait, no, I can't count. It's the four of pentacles. Your challenge is letting go, Taurus. I know. 
that's difficult, especially for a fixed sign. I get it and I'm not passing judgment. I'm not throwing shade or whatnot. I get it. I have a lot of fixed energy within me. Whether you want to say I'm of the tropical system or I'm of the, the, the sidereal system. Either way, I have two fixed signs in major placements, <laughs> okay? So I know I know what it's like to and to, to 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 experience and tangle with like inertia and 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 having a certain momentum and finding it difficult to change direction as quickly as may be needed in some times, okay? But I, I get that. But your challenge right now, Taurus, is literally letting go because I feel like you're holding on to something for dear life for fear of change, quite frankly. Four of Pentacles is coupled with, whoa, Taurus, the tower. Now, okay, that escalated a little bit quickly. Um, I am going to say, I'm gonna be 100% honest with you, Taurus, I feel like this is a warning, okay? Because if you don't let go of this yourself, I feel like the universe is gonna come in and take and do something about it for you. If you don't do something about this yourself, the universe is gonna do it for you. Now, for some of you, this could be your challenge here is having already experienced a tower moment and now being faced with that, the universe is kind of sitting back looking at you like, all right, now what you gonna do? Closing message or potential outcome for you, Taurus, in the first half of your reading, you have, ooh, honey, death. Something's gotta change here, transformation. Moving to the new cycle. That's literally all this is. And I do feel like some of you are in this like doom and gloom energy of like, oh no, what's going to happen? There's so much unknown. There's so much uncertainty. I, I don't get it. Why do I even have to let this go to begin with? And this is serving some sort of soul growth here. Okay. This is a necessary change for you, Taurus. Death is coupled with the nine of pentacles. Woo. Yo. Yo, I told you, I'm feeling some sort of like romantic energy here, man. And the universe is trying to tell you, tell somebody here, it's time for you to be single, honey. It's time for you to cut that cord and just go off on your own. Why? For no, literally, I'm not picking up any sort of destruction, malice, uh, ill intent, cheating, lying, backstab. I'm not, and maybe that was a part of the situation for you. I don't know. That's not what I'm getting here. The main thing that I'm getting here right now, Taurus, is if this is, especially if this is a romantic situation for you, you've learned what you needed to learn. There's no more, you, there's nowhere else you can go with this. This situation has plateaued. And it's time for you to take that leap off of the plateau and fly to the next cycle, to the next experience for yourself. And even if this isn't romantic for you, this, is, this situation has plateaued for a reason. It's time to change the game. It's time to start the next cycle. It's time to move on to the next part of your journey, okay? All right, Taurus. Please don't shoot the messenger. Let's get into the second half of your reading here. Excuse me. First set of surrounding energies for you, Taurus. We have the chariot. So the first thing the chariot is saying to me here is regardless as to what this specific situation is for you, whether it's romantic or not, or business or whatever, or finance or whatever, ultimately it has set you up to be in a greater position to be in the driver's seat, to go after what it is you truly want. I feel like for some of you, what this situation has helped you realize or helped you understand is helped you get to a greater awareness or a higher level in terms of what it is you truly want and how specifically how to get there you may not know exactly how to get there now but the experiences that you've had in the past six of cups to the sun that has illuminated things for you that has given you provided you with training provided you with the know-how in a, high, in a higher sense, or at least more than you did, more than you had before in the past to go after what it is you want on a greater scale. The chariot, all right? The chariot is coupled with the, the world. 
The universe is really asking you to be in the driver's seat now. The universe is saying that you are ready to drive now. Okay, it's almost as if you've gotten your driver's license here or you have more privileges in terms of your right to drive your own car or some shit like that, right? Also, the world and the chariot together are telling me that the time is right. The situation is, co is, is complete enough for you to move forward passionately, strongly, in a much more balanced, harmonious energy, all right? This reading is really encouraging you to move forward, Taurus, and not just not just stay with what's familiar, continue to move forward, continue to strive for change and for growth and for betterment, not only of yourself, for the, those around you. Because even you may not recognize it or you may not be able to see it or realize it because you're, all, you're so wrapped up in your own situation, but your drive to move forward, your, you taking the opportunity to create some sort of change in, for your life and to go for something new and to go after that new opportunity or that new job or whatever, or that new level of love and relationships could really inspire someone else to do the same, okay? So don't doubt yourself here. Second set of surrounding energies for you, Taurus. In the second half of your reading, you have the High Priestess. Yeah, yeah, there's a whole lot of unknown. You don't know how things are going to work out. And that could be what's freaking you out right now or what's causing you to be like, you know what? I'm just going to stay right here. Nope. Nope. Because what I'm getting from this High Priestess is you are not even aware of the blessings or of how... You're not even allowing yourself to open your mind to the infinite possibilities that the universe has available to you. I, fe I feel like there's so much beautiful stuff, new, beautiful new things that can come to you if you just let go and just drive, just Dive off into the unknown and allow things to work in your favor. The High Priestess is coupled with the Page of Swords. Okay. All right. <laughs> okay, Taurus. So what this feels like here with this Page of Swords now is like, you're like, well, well, how long is it going to take? And what are the directions? And how do I get there? And what do I need to be prepared for? And what if this happens? What if that happens? And I, this is, I just feel like this, this, Page of Swords is very much Gemini energy, very inquisitive, but I feel like this is you asking all kinds of questions. This kind of feels like that kid that's in the back seat. That's all like, are we there yet? Are we there yet? Are we there yet? And the universe is trying, is just saying, no, sit down and shut up. <laughs> I feel like you're, please, I'm not trying to offend anybody, um, but and actually, if that just triggered you, then that's something you got to work on. But I feel like you're asking too many questions of the universe that you're, that are the universe is not willing to provide to you. Your challenge in the second half of your reading, Taurus, is the Hierophant. Okay, first of all, this can represent your energy here. But um, Taurus, I feel like Ultimately, no matter what the situation is for you, whether it's love or romance, uh, business, finance, whatever, your challenge right now is stepping out of um, a sense of conformity. Think about it this way. The High Priestess and the Hierophant are counterparts. The Hierophant represents order, form, and structure and institutions. It also represents societal standards and societal norms or just like social norms or familial norms. The high priestess is the exact opposite of that. The high priestess is oneness, is unity, is the universe, is infinite, is infinite energy, is the unknown, is secrecy, things being hidden, and then also revealed when the time is right. So effectively Taurus you're coming out of a situation that was very structured or um, was very much status quo or keeping up with the Joneses even your challenge now is to step out of that 
okay to step from to step in step out of the security and the dogma and the indoctrination that is represented by and the institution that is represented by the hierophant and step into the unknown of the universe open yourself up to more of the infinite possibilities to more of the the the, the mystery of what can really come to you when you open yourself up to that okay the hierophant is coupled with the seven of pentacles i'm telling you taurus you have reached a plateau in this situation because you have learned what it is you needed to learn here you're not going to learn anything new in this situation why because you completed taurus you've completed this course at this point the more you stay at this, in this situation, doing this the same way or going about it in the same method as you've always gone about it over and over again, you're only going to get the same result. You're not going to get anything new. Seven of Pentacles can represent Einstein's definition of insanity of doing something over and over again but expecting a different result. Ain't going to happen. No matter how no, no matter how much you dig your heels in, Taurus, that is not going to happen. If you want a different result, you've got to change your approach. If you want something new in your life, if you want to get out of this plateau, you have got to step off the ledge and fly, honey. Okay? I know. Bulls don't fly, but whatever. <laughs> Closing message or potential outcome for you, Taurus. Is there's that five of wands again? The internal conflict. Five of Wands is coupled with the Nine of Wands. So I do feel like some of you are actually going to take this advice and take that leap of faith and jump or move in that new direction. And you're still and that and now it, when you do that, that doesn't mean that does not mean that you're going to that you're not going to be dealing with some inner struggle still. That doesn't mean that you're not going to deal with some sort of inner conflict. And it doesn't mean you're not you're even going to deal not going to deal with external conflict with like people around you because I do feel like for some of you there are other people involved with this, but that doesn't matter. You know what the message here is, Taurus. You just got to persevere. Y'all know if you've been following me for long enough, y'all know what I say about the 5 of wands. Opinions are like assholes everybody's got one doesn't mean that you can't strive forward and persevere towards what it is you know is right for you Taurus because keep in mind at the bottom of the deck is victory six of wands okay all right let's close out this message then here with the fairy forest deck I'm gonna give this five shuffles for you Taurus one Two, three, for my Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of March of 2021. This is four. And this is five. Closing message for my Torrens, please, Spirit, for March of 2021. There it is, right there. Ooh, ooh. We have card number 19, the trickster, deceit, betrayal, and guile. So either you, Taurus, are the trickster, or maybe this is for the cross watcher here, and you're dealing with a Taurus that's being a trickster, or... Um, I also kind of feel like there's something, maybe this is just the situation at hand, kind of tricking you into believing that maybe this is all you can achieve or all that you are, I just heard all you exist for. There's something about this situation that's deceit, deceitful. And I just feel like it's in terms of keeping you there instead of allowing yourself to move forward or allowing you to move forward. Something's tricking you into thinking that you have to stay. 
let me be a reminder to be true to yourself, to your own personal truths, to the code within your soul. Truly, at this time, it is essential for you to let your conscience be your guide and to live according to your own creed with open eyes. Do not fool yourself into believing another person's vision and ideas are more important than your own. Question agendas and be aware, be aware of people's history. For at this time, there is one about you who is attempting to persuade you to their cause, to join them in what they see is a great task, but which in turn is simply, is simply a harnessing of your power to their agenda, which is not for your highest good. All tricksters are charming and know exactly what to say to persuade you, but this is mere language. Their deeds will not match their words, and what you are agreeing to by joining with them will be a loss of your own personal dreams for the furthering of theirs. If you allow yourself to be coerced, cajoled, and manipulated at this time, it will weigh heavily... <clears throat> <coughs> Excuse me. Wow, that is an intense message coming through. Let me start that over. If you allow yourself to be coerced, cajoled, and manipulated at this time, it will weigh heavily on your own very soul. On your very own soul or whatever. <laughs> Be more wary than is natural for you at this time. Do not betray yourself or ignore the warning signs which are all about you. Do not foolishly give away your power, but exercise it and weave a future that is truly the one you wish to create. One which will provide you with honor, plenty, and the satisfaction of having been true to yourself. Yes, ma'am. So there you have it, Taurus. A card just went flying. It was the seven of pentacles, but it was stuck to my elbow. Anyway, there you have it, Taurus. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. I love you guys so very much. I hope you have a fantastic month. If you would like to get a personal reading with me, um, or if you would like to join us over on Patreon, all of that information is in the description box below. But with that said, I hope you have a fantastic month and I look forward to connecting with you again for our next reading for the month of April. Yeah. Take care. Bye. <laughs>